Well, I think we're live, so starting a little early today. Hello, guys. Hello, greetings. My name is Stealth. It's great to see you in here. And a happy Saturday. Today, we're going to be checking out some seeds, trying to find a good speed running seed. I'm not sure if we will find one, but it's definitely going to be interesting in a, a chill stream. You know, it's pretty late. It's five o'clock for me, which is toward the later side for streams for me. Um, but hello. Hello. Hey, Kern. Hey, not really me. Hey, Lil Luke. Hey, strong man. What's good, bro? How you doing? What's poppin'? What up, Lee? What up? Is that I don't I don't want to butcher your name. Asif? Hey Salita, hey Tiller, hey Daz, hey Strongman, Shadow Part, what's up? Hey Cranky Beans, Nico, hello. Minecrafter, what's good with ya? Juan, what's going on, man? Tru trues, trus, 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 trus. I don't know. I'm sorry. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Michael. What up, Death Dart? What up, Animar? How you guys doing? Hey, Piglin. I see you too, brother. How you guys doing? You're a great YouTuber. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really do. What's going on with you guys? What is up with you today? Um, let's start off with some random seeds and then maybe toward the end we'll like use your names and stuff like that. Should be pretty cool. But for now, we're gonna start off with like random seeds and see what we can find. I'm hoping we can find something good. I'm hoping we can find something good. Hey, oh ginger, hello. Hello. So this will also be a Q&A, so if you guys have questions and stuff, I'll try my best to answer them. It can be re in regards to, like, the cave update, even though we don't really know too much about it yet. Um, you know, it's whatever. Whatever you guys want to talk about. It can be real-life problems or... I don't know. Whatever you guys want to talk about, we can talk about it, as long as it's appropriate for the chat, you know what I'm saying? So sit back, relax, hey Hallie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So I can pretty much tell instantly if this is a good speed running seed. Um, it just really depends on how close a village is. <clears throat> Which we got a village right there. Hello, hello, friends. Hello, greetings. Hey, Herman. E immoderate. Immoderate. I don't think I said your name right. Which I know I butcher your name all the time because you donate and stuff. And every time... I think you do, right? And every time I butcher your name. Hey, not really me. Hey, Jagus man. How you doing? Why are we asking you, Stealth? Why are you asking me what? You didn't ask me nothing yet. You didn't ask me nothing yet. We're checking random seeds right now, so I'm not going to be checking, like, actual... Like, our... Yeah, today's all about discovering new seeds. I don't really want to focus on seeds that have already been discovered, because that's not really fun, you know? But I think it's safe to say that this seed is not that great. Because we don't even have an open lava pit, and you can't really go to the nether fast without one, so... I don't see us really using this seed. So we can go... Oh, wait, wait, There is an open lava pit. I think. And it's a ravine, which is not really the same thing. Hello, hey Hallid. Please tell me what. Tell you what, bro? What do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you, man? See you later. 
Um, it's coming in two weeks in October. What's coming? I'm a little confused. Question, do you think Minecraft should add redstone, lapis coal, and emerald as armor and tools? I don't think so. That doesn't seem necessary, right? Because where would that even fit in between between like stone tool or between wooden tools and um netherite gear like where would that even fit yeah imnotur imnoturate thank you for the five dollar bomb brother what kind of base would you like to build in caves i was thinking of something like a bridge over a big cave it's interesting man i'm glad you actually brought that up because that's something i've been thinking about for like the past few days what type of base i would like to build and i was thinking about like making making like a forest inside the cave like in the lush cave if you know whenever that happens like i want to make like a forest and then build like a tree fort inside the cave you know like a an actual tree fort would be really cool but i don't know it's still really early so I i'm gonna be thinking about that for quite some time but i think like a tree fort in a cave would be pretty sick what up brandon hey stealth may you say hi back hello ampered i'm trying to say hi to everybody i don't know why i'm still wearing my mask y'all oh, yo i don't need to wear this right now yeah you always say that on your live stealth oh twenty twenty one oh time out guys look at this hightail we we don't have a release date for hightail still though right a village is right there this is good i like to see it i like to see it but one thing I normally like to check immediately is if there's a stronghold right beneath me. Rixalbo is in the house, everybody. We can party now. We can party. What up, Lewis? I don't know, man. They've been working on Hightail for several, several years. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Uh, at this point, I'm like done really ex I'm done waiting for Hightail. Whenever it comes out, it just comes out, you know? That's just how I look at it now. That's just how I see it. It's like, when it comes out, it just, it's out. Because we could keep playing this waiting game for Hightail for several more years. And I'm just gonna, you know, be patient, I guess. Should Mojang add bluestone? Uh what would it do that's like my first question to everything what would it do let's fire up the dj set what is release date of 1.17 update stealth we'll know that i will definitely i definitely do not know the release date mojang has said um next year summer summer 2021 is what they are saying right now that could change, but considering we don't even have the first beta, the first snapshot out, it's like there, there's it's impossible to predict or speculate. You know, we don't have our first beta or snapshot. It's impossible to speculate release dates. All we can do is just like go based off of <laughs> literally go based off of what they told us, which is next year. Imposters. Speaking of imposter, if you become a member, you can have this emote. Summer is super long. True. But maybe... I don't know. There's still a bunch of other games coming out in the meantime. Emna Turret, bro, with another $5 bomb. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, man. Thank you. Maybe one of the cave biomes would be like the same biome that's above it, but the biome is on the ceiling walls and the ground. Yeah, it's sort of like with Terraria. Yeah, I see what you're saying. So, like, depending on which biome you're in, you get the same, you get a similar biome in, in the cave. 
So I, I think I understand what you mean. Like if you're in the snow, if you're in the snow biome, then you get like snow caves or like a, an, a cave with like icicles and stuff. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Favorite ice cream is vanilla. I love vanilla. I'm very plain. I was actually thinking about getting ice cream today. I was actually thinking about it. So we got a village over here, but I'm still not seeing like any open lava pits, which is like really what you want. How do you feel when the glow squid won? I felt angry when the glow squid won. Why'd you feel angry though? I think, well, I've been saying this though, because I liked all three of the mobs. Like I liked all three of them. So I really, I really wasn't attached to any of them in particular. Like I didn't really care on that level, which is why, which <laughs> it's the exact same reason I voted randomly. Like I didn't know which mob I was going to vote for. So I picked randomly. I literally picked out of a jar. I had like three, I had all the mob names written on pieces of paper and then I just threw them in a in a jar and I just picked randomly. Cause all three of them, you know, they're just, they're just essentially reskins, retextures of mobs that are in the game right now. Yo, look at this. This is actually really sick. What up, Reese? How you doing, man? And thank you for the donation again, bro. Imna Torret over here, just making it rain. Stealth, it is spooky season. Guys, I am doing a Halloween stream in costume, okay? In costume. So, you want to make sure you're here for Halloween. I might also be doing some giveaways as well. Should be a blast. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Hello, Shadow. Shadow part. Hello. Stealth has three votes. Hmm. Hey, Jack. How you doing, man? Yep. All right. The seed is not the best either. So we're going to go ahead and back out. Although I will say this village looks really cool. This is one of the cooler looking villages. Like... Is there a blacksmith, though, I wonder? Is there a blacksmith over here? I don't think so. I don't think there's a blacksmith. But nah, this is a really cool village. But I think that's about all we're getting. Not really good for speedrunning. Unfortunately. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. Stealth, remember Cactus? I used to be him. You changed your name recently? You changed your name recently? Halloween is near. I'm dressing up as a plague doctor. Oh. That's pretty spooky. Yeah. I'm not really going anywhere for Halloween. I'm just dressing up and then I'll be streaming. You guys are welcome to guess who I will be for Halloween. <laughs> but it's going to be a blast, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, Stealth, what's your favorite game Among Us or Minecraft? Minecraft, hands down. Minecraft. Among Us is definitely fun to watch. It's, it's sort of a trend right now, though. So, I, I don't know. Like... Ooh, we spawned right next to a village. Time out. We spawned right next to a village. This is pretty big. But there's no lava pit. No. You said Among Us over Minecraft? Wait. I was like, that doesn't sound right to me. How are you going to betray Minecraft? Among Us... Among Us is really fun to watch people play. I will say that. I will say that much. Like, watching people play Among Us is really entertaining. Yes, Halloween stream, guys. Halloween stream is happening. 
So if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed. I'll probably be giving away stuff as well, but I'll let you guys know more about it once we get closer to Halloween. So we spawn right next to a village, which is really good. But in terms of there being an open lava pit, that still remains a mystery. <clears throat> Spire Man. I'm dressing as an Enderman from the game you're playing right now, Stealth. That'd be really cool. You're gonna be Slenderman? You know, it's funny because, like, the Enderman was inspired by the Slenderman. Like, that's actually pretty cool. So one of you is going to be an Enderman, the other is going to be a Slenderman. And one inspired the other. That's pretty cool. Stealth, do you like Roblox or Minecraft? I mean, I love Minecraft. I think Roblox is cool, but I haven't really played it like that on that level. Oh, what's going on with this PS4? I see a mineshaft right there. That's the one thing I wonder what they're going to do with. Are they going to upgrade or improve mine shafts? Like, what are they going to do with them? I wonder. I wonder, chat, what will they do with mine shafts? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I hate when I do typos. I think we can all relate to that. Like, literally everybody in here can relate to that feeling. Like, typos are, ugh. Especially if you make multiple typos, and then you just feel stupid. Hey, Absolute Brian. Hey, Baby Picklin. Hey, Maximilian. Hello. Hello. New people are on Discord. Alright, this seat is also garbage. Garbage. Yeah, but a pillager outpost isn't really going to help us get to the nether. It's all about getting to the nether as quickly as possible and getting out of the nether as quickly as possible. Right? It's those two things. Getting in and then getting out as quickly as possible. So... Yeah... I actually do prefer doing speedruns on random seeds, but I think this will also be really good to practice and on like a designated good seed. Just having a seed that's like already really good will be very good for practice. Hey Michael! Hey Ben! Is it Nakfe? Hello! Welcome! Welcome friends! What's going on? What's poppin'? Alright, let's continue. Blue dog cat, I see you too. What up, homie? What's good with you? What is up with you? Do not fear, for I am here. Stealth is becoming dream. I think dream was onto something though. Speedrunning is fun. I wouldn't say I'm, like, invested like he is, because that's literally all he does for the most part is, like, speedrunning. So, I'm not on that level, but it's just, like, speedrunning is intriguing, especially for me, because, like, it's helping me improve as a builder. And it's just helping me survive as well. See, this is not a good seed. I can already tell you guys, this is a bad seed. Like, if you have to go that far out to find food... Open lava pit, though. Time out. But that's still far away, right? You, you don't want to have to come... You don't, you don't want to have to run all the way out here. But we do have a village as well. So we got a village and an open lava pit. Uh, this is tough. Should we get it? Should we give it a quick test run, guys? Should we give it a quick sample? 
All right, we'll give it a quick sample. I'm not gonna time this, but we spawn like right over here, right? We spawn like right over here. And let's see how quickly I can get to the nether. How about that? So I'm not gonna time it, but I will sort of time it in my mind. So 518, let's do this, 518. See how quickly I can get to the nether. What's going on, Jeremy? How you doing, bro? It's pretty far away, though. Ideally, what you want is, like, a lava pit. And uh, you want a lava pit. And then you want a village, like, pretty much right next to each other. So... If you can get both of those things, then you're set. But if not, then... Then you're in ruins. You're in ruins. Stealth, how old is your channel? I'm starting a channel and I need encouragement. Uh, I believe my channel turns 10 years old next year. I think? Yeah, I think so. I think next year will be 10 years old, but yeah. Yeah, you know, it takes a while to get to where you want to get to, so, um, you know, just do your best. I believe in you. Hello, so many members in here. I feel so special. I feel so special. So we're at almost two minutes. Like I said, this isn't anything official, so I'm not going to time it, but once it reaches 20, that will mean we're at two minutes, officially two minutes. Ooh, minutes. Oh, yeah, I need to get some gravel, guys. We can't go to the nether without no gravel. All right, we're at two minutes right now. Get some gravel, please. Do you watch Grant? I love Grant. He's an amazing builder. Like, Grant is actually an incredible builder. Please, yes, food. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for this. We desperately needed food, y'all. This is why it's so important to find a seed that, like, you have easy access to food. Because if you're speedrunning and you can't get to food, like, really fast, then that's gonna be a problem, you know? That's going to be a big problem. Major problem. Alright, where's the iron golem so we can kill it? Where's the iron golem? Oh, I saw gravel, I think. Was that gravel? Yes, that's gravel. And we got some iron over there too, guys. Like, let's go. Let's go. We're officially at three minutes right now. Three minutes. Did I get any gravel yet? Or, <laughs> not gravel. Did I get any flint? No! Come on, where's the flint? Okay, we got flint. Uh, what's going on, King Lightning Fox? How are you doing? How are you doing, partner? All right, where does this iron golem go? Oh, right there, right there. Uh, shoot. Okay, come over here, come over here. Come on, come on, friend. Come on, friend. Goodness gracious, man. Can you die? There we go. That's more like it. No, he only gave us two iron. No. So we're at four minutes right now. We're at four minutes, guys. But I, si I did see a little iron over here, so we're going to have to make a furnace really fast. And yeah, wasting a lot of time, but it is what it is. 
This is just a test run. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing this. I just wanted to search for seats today, but it's all good. We're at five minutes right now. I feel like if I can get to the nether in under eight minutes, that's moving really fast, like low key. Like it's actually moving really fast. What's going on, Mr. Pizza? How you doing, brother? Hey, Finya, thank you so much for the $1 bomb. You're too kind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, we have five iron the whole time, guys. What am I doing? We had five iron the entire time. Stealth, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Like, you didn't have to do none of that. We're still at five minutes, though. I believe I saw an open lava pit. Yeah, Hanya Effect. Welcome to the Stealth Army membership. Thank you. Welcome, friend. Welcome, welcome. Um, I totally forget where the open lava pit is, guys. Like, I don't... I don't remember. ONG, the homies in here, guys. Squad. Crew love. Man, ONG, it's good to see you, brother. Like, really. I hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's healthy and all that stuff, G. Like, it's good to see you. I don't know where this open lava pit is. See, this is where we're gonna kill time. This is where we're gonna kill time, guys, because... I had one job, and I... And I don't remember. One job. Go stealth, sonic speed. Wait, I think the lava pit's over here. Let me just double check. No, that was the ravine. So where is the lava pit then? Where is it then? I don't know guys, like this is, this is a wrap. Oh well, luckily we're just testing seeds so I'm not even gonna stress on that level. However, I do want to make sure I can still... There is one thing I do want to make sure I can still do. That didn't make sense, I think. We gotta find it first, though. Yo, there's another village over here. Oh my gosh. You better be subscribed to ONG. He's the homie. Uh... Hey, <laughs> why are you crying, butter? Where is that open lava pit? Am I crazy? I thought we saw one earlier, but now I feel like I'm crazy. Wow. It was behind the village the entire time. Do I watch uh, ice stream? Is this a speed run? No, it's not. I don't want people to think it is. It's not. We're looking for speedrun seeds. Uh, I was just testing. I was giving the seed a test run for a speed run. You know what I mean? A test run for the speed run. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this fast, y'all. We're gonna do this fast. Let's see how fast it takes me to make a portal. And let's see if I can get it right the first time, right? Let's see if I can do this the first time without any problems. All right, pick our water up. Oh. Here we go. Uh, and then, oh, bam. I didn't even need to do it that high, to be honest. I didn't even need to do it that high, but oh well. Eee! Mm. Alright, there we go. Oh! Yep, I did it too high. I messed up. I messed up, squad. I messed up. See, now my lava's destroyed. Oh well. We'll get him next time. I should have went up three and then over one, but I went up four and then over one. Answer me, please. Why are you screaming, bro? 
You love both. I love both ONG and Stealth. We love you too. We'll try it again. I'm not going to speedrun today. I feel like I don't have like... I'm not in the zone today. And if I get in the zone, that means I won't look at chat. Fair enough. Because I want to be able to... Ch like, I really want to be able to chat with you guys today. So if I do speedrun, I'm probably not chatting. Okay, Brandon, but it's practice. Brandon. You know what? This is going to sound weird because it's speedrunning. But if you feel like you're going to mess up making the portal, just take your time, right? Because that can be the difference between... Like, messing up could be the difference between, like, a couple of minutes to, like, 10, 20, 30 minutes, right? So, if you feel like you're going to mess up, take your time making the portal. If you, if you feel like you need a minute to make the portal, then take your minute to make the portal. I'm trying to, like, do it super fast, and it's unnecessary. Until I'm, like, actually good, which I'm not good yet. I'm not. Hey, Stealth, want me to give you a very good seed? Um, do I want you to give me one? Maybe toward the end of the stream, but right now I'm just trying to find some myself. Like, this is pretty cool. I like this. And it looks like we have... No, never mind. That's not an open lava pit. Hello, gamer brothers. Hi. Stealth, my fastest speed run is six hours. Wow. Well, you know, I think it's just being being able to like beat Minecraft. I've noticed a lot of people have never beat Minecraft. So I think as long as you can say you beat the game, that's pretty impressive. So I know a lot of people that have never beat Minecraft. They've never fought the Ender Dragon. All right, Butter. Well, whatever, whatever it takes, man. I hope you uh, do cheer up, man. It's good to see you. Stealth, you like my new name? I changed it to Yellow. Uh, it says Blue Gang 36 Francis. What do you mean you changed your name? When the seeds fail you- Whoa! Hold up! Hold up. I wish we spawned right here, guys. Look at this. I literally wish we spawned right here. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. With the iron right there, too. Alright, I need to test this now. I gotta test this. This is so cool. And it's in the village? Like, come on, man. Come on. Oh, too bad we don't spawn right next to it, though. This is like world record breaking stuff, you know. World record breaking. Uh, okay. So let's go into survival really quick. And let's test out. Practice is perfect. Right, squad? Right. Practice is perfect. Maybe. That's what they say. I don't know if it's true or not, but it sounds right. Okay, here we go. So we got to fix this in order to achieve this great portal. All right. Oops. You know what? We can leave that right there for now. And we can destroy that. We can pick up this water again. And then one, two, three. Then boop. Then uh, ha, ha, one, two. And then, uh, ha, ha, three. All right. There we go. There we go. No, you did not. You did. Ooh, 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 silverfish. The silverfish. Well, luckily it wasn't a real speed run, but still, I was actually doing really good. You see how quickly I was placing that portal? I was placing the portal like bam, 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 bam. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, I got the infested stone. I realized it, but I was hoping it wouldn't have been a problem. I know. I know. Chat. I know, chat. I was moving, too. It's like, bam! Placing it like a boss. Placing it like a boss. Another thing I gotta practice is, like, defeating the Ender Dragon with, like, beds and stuff. I don't know how you really get good at that, because I'm... I'm still sort of like a noob when it comes to that. I'm I'm used to using a sword, you know? To defeat the Ender Dragon. Some people be placing beds at, like, the perfect angle. I'm like, goodness gracious, like, if you misplace a bed, you're gonna kill yourself. Do you think the Warden is gonna be near the end stronghold? I see a lot of people speculating, and... I think that's just more of a... Well, that's just what it is, a speculation, right? I know a lot of people have built the Warden. Um, a lot of community creators have built the Warden and stuff like that. So, I'm not sure. As of right now, I... I don't know if there's an attachment between the warden and the end. I don't think so, to be honest. It just doesn't really make sense. Because the end is always a place for the dragon. Like, that's the dragon's domain, right? So, unless the warden's directly tied... <clears throat> the warden is directly tied to the ender dragon. That's the only way it would make sense in my mind. It, it, is like, if they have some sort of... If the warden works for the dragon. But if not, then no, like... I don't think there's any relation. Yeah. That's the only way it would make sense, is if the Warden and the Ender Dragon, like, are partners in crime or something. Uh, try the old Oreo seed. Aw, good times. Should we take a look at Oreo again? That used to be one of my favorite seeds back in the day, like, legit. That was the seed I would do all my survival challenges on. That was, for a long time, for several years, it was the best seed. If not in the top five best seeds. This seed is garbage. I can already tell you. There's not a single village, right? So, you're going to be searching for food half the time. And then there's no open lava pit. So, that's another issue. Not only do you have to look for food, but you also have to look for lava. So, that's a, that's a huge problem. Stealth, what's your favorite song? Uh... Uh... I don't know. I don't know what my... I don't know. There's a lot of songs I have on repeat, but I, I don't know what... I would consider to be my favorite song, you know? Hey, Noah. Do Seed 666, that's a good one. <laughs> I've actually checked that one out plenty of times. I don't think it's a speedrunning seed at all. It's a spooky seed, but I don't think it's a speedrunning seed. All right, so we're going to check out Oreo really quick. It's like a classic seed from the good old, like, console days. So, we got Oreo, and that's it. Let's check it out. I mean, you need Netherite to defeat it, so the drop has got to be huge. That's if they... That's if they do a drop, though, right? Right? Because the reason I say, like... It might, it might not even drop anything. I hope it does, but you see... You guys saw what they did with the Piglin Brutes. Like, they barely drop anything good. They just drop a Golden Axe. <laughs> you know? Piglin Brutes take, like, 10 hits. 10 hits with a Netherite Sword. Ooh. Look what we got right there. This world has changed a lot. In fact, it's unrecognizable. Because there used to be... Right at spawn, you would have... 
the uh, the Badlands or the the Mesa right behind, right right behind the spawn. And then to the left, you would have a desert temple, like two desert temples over there. There'd be a desert temple on your right side. There'd be a woodland mansion in front of you. So this seed does not look like it's just completely different. However, with that being said, we do have this over here, which is a hit or miss, right? Oreo cookies. I got a uh, animal crackers. <laughs> animal crackers. Time out. Woo. We do have the Mesa. It's just moved. Y'all look at this. The Mesa has moved up. Holy moly. Okay, so we got a mesa over here. We got a uh, outpost right here. Um, what is this? Yo, look at this, guys. What? This is so cool. Whoa. This is cool. Man, what would I want to build in here? What would I want to build in here? Like a little Wild West type of town? Like a Wild West town. And then have like a train track. That leads to something else, man. Ooh, this is sick. Okay, so we got a open lava pit right there. We got a blacksmith right here, guys. Yo, this is a speedrun seed. This is a speedrun seed. And then we got a bunch of wheat. So we got food. We got food. We got lava right there. Food, lava. But it's not close to spawn. That's the issue. Do Rio, I'm Brazilian. Brazil, I got love for Brazil. This is pretty cool, though. I'm actually really happy we checked out the seed. By no means is it as good as the old Oreo, because the old Oreo had like eight villages, had like four desert temples, had a woodland mansion. It, it had everything, right? That's why it was like one of the best seeds, but... Still... Still, we got some open lava pits right there, too. Um, got a desert village, which is always a good thing. Even just for loot, right? Because we all need loot. Stealth, do you think the caves and cliffs update should update the general generation of... Or generation to fit the quality of the cave and mountains? General generalization, general, what? What are you talking about? I mean, that's what they're doing, Tristan. They're they're going to update the uh, generation. It's sort of what we saw, like if you watched my video today, we saw a glimpse of the generation for the Caves and Cliffs update. Like everything's just drastically larger. It, it's, it's huge now, everything's a lot bigger. Even just random biomes, like the desert biome was like, 200 blocks up, you know? Desert biome was huge. Everything was big. So I think they're just... They're scaling everything up. To fit caves. That's what I think is going on. They're like, they're scaling everything up to fit caves. This is a... This seems like a very fun seed. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know if it's like the best speed running seed. But it's definitely a good survival seed. Yeah, shout out to my Australians. My Aussies. I got love for all of you guys, man. No, this is a this is a very fun seed. I would just like to Like look okay. There are quite a few villages for sure in Oreo. Wow. Quite a few villages. This is a big village. 
Like, the size of that village right there is something else. Ermin, welcome to the stealth tier 4, homie. What in the world, dog? Goodness gracious, brother. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. I think you might be our first or second tier 4, bro. So welcome to the stealth army membership program, homie. Dang, thank you. Appreciate that. You're a real one, for real. I gotta. I'm gonna continue updating it with the new emotes and stuff. So I'll. T I'm taking care of the squad. Yeah, he's. I think he's our first tier four. Our first tier four. <laughs> Guys, this is a really good seed. I, I wasn't even roasting it earlier. I was just sort of like pointing out simple differences between this one and the OG Oreo seed. But I would say this seed still has the same, if not more, villages. I feel like they're spread out more, though. That's the... Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Oreo seed is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. This seed... Guys, this seed might be slightly i don't know i don't want to say slightly better because there's no woodland mansion but in terms of villages in terms of villages we might be looking at a the seed might have more in terms of villages and possibly temples because we got a temple right there it's almost right outside the per world map perimeter, I guess, but I mean, you're talking about at least eight or nine villages, right? At least eight or nine. But like I said, I don't know if this is really a good speed running seed. But boy, oh boy, you have a lot to do. You got a lot of villages. You got the mesa over here. I'm saving this for sure. I'm keeping this in my inventory or in my saves. I'm keeping this in my saves. Because this just looks like a fun world. Wow. I'm glad we checked that one out, guys. I'm so happy we checked that out. Especially when you have a seed that you've been like sort of keeping track of for countless years because i remember when we learned about oreo like a long time ago back in like 2017 or 2016 um can we do a different scene now i got you i got you uh herman let me see can i send you a private message man uh Herman, how about this? Because I'm going to have to delete someone. Okay, so how about you give me your gamer tag? How about you give me your gamer tag? And I'll add you, okay? I'll add you tonight, alright? So let me set myself up a reminder. So if you give me your gamer tag, I got you, homie. I got you, brother. Hey, Stealth, bust a mystery and sleep in the do not sleep seed. Do not sleep. All right, well, well eh, yeah, I could check it out, but not right now. Just give me like 10, 15 minutes. We'll check. We'll go check out that seed. We'll check it out, man. Maybe. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Do not sleep. I'll share what I find on Java version of Oreo. Yes, please do. It's a classic seed. It's a, it's definitely up there with the best OG seeds ever. I'm trying to remember the other one. I think it was called Bulma. There was one called Oreo and then, well, obviously Oreo. And then I think one was Bulma. B-U-L-M-A. And what do we got right here? A ton of lava. A ton of lava. 
It's term 418. All right, bro, I'll add you. Let me set a reminder because I'll forget. I'm very forgetful. So, all right. So I'll take care of that later, bro. I got you. Stealth, how would we craft candles? I actually made a video on that in the, in, what was it? Two days ago, three days ago for my top 10 secrets. And my theory is that either you can craft them or you have to find them. Meaning you'd have to go to the deep dark in order to get them. You can't just craft them, which seeing that there's different versions of the candles, we have a black one and a white one, more than likely you can craft them. And if that's the case, um, I'm thinking that maybe beeswax or something will be introduced. I can't talk right now, I'm choking. <laughs> Beeswax will be introduced. When I talk a lot, I get like the hiccups and stuff. So I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm having a, f I have a feeling that they'll do something with wax in the game. Hey Stealth. Hello. Yeah, this isn't really a seed showcase as much as it's like, we're looking for speed running seeds y'all. Uh, and I, I feel like I should probably do a seed hunt soon because it looks like a lot of people just want like good seeds is what I'm getting from this. Yeah, no problem, Herman. Uh, I have a feeling just a lot of people want good seeds now. Maybe it's been a while since you've played on a good world, a good seed. But right now I'm just like trying to focus on speed running seeds and this definitely is not one at all. Like, yeah, I'm not speedrunning at all here. Not at all. Oh well. Stealth, what would you think of titanium and uranium ores? Hmm. Instead, use like industrial furnaces and new electrical and radiation systems. Interesting thought, my friend. Um, I think we can all agree, though. They got to focus on fletching table right now. Like, I think, I think it's easy to think about all the features and stuff you want for the game. But I think sometimes you got to dial back, take a step back, and think about the things that they still haven't worked on that's currently in the game, you know? I know a lot of people are even still waiting for hardcore. Like, they said they were going to add hardcore. What's going on with hardcore? You know? We got the fletching table. We've had the fletching table since village and pillage update. Well, like, what's going to happen with that? I, I feel like they... They're... And then let's not even get into the biome updates, right? We, we're still waiting on the, the desert, the savannah, the swamp the Badlands, and the Mountains. So, like, I, I don't want to get too far ahead because it's super easy to do that when there's so much more we want for the game. But we got to consider, like, Mojang is still really behind on certain features that they promised. And then you got uh, with the Illusioner, right? The Illusioner. So... You know, we're still waiting on the Illusioner and a bunch of other things. Should Mojang add the pet hamster? Um, why not? Yeah, I don't see why not. Yeah. Stealth, this has been the worst week of my life. My friend cut... Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my gosh, man. Well, you came to the right place to relax. I'm sorry that's I'm sorry you're going through such a tough time. I, I truly am and I like you know, I lost my grandma about two weeks ago and I've been like super uncertain about like my future as well. So like I you know, I understand where you're coming from in a lot of ways and I just hope that um things get better for you. Keep your head up, keep your spirits up. If you need time to relax and remove yourself, do those things. Or play games, do things that you enjoy. I think that helps a lot too. So, best year ever. <laughs> Stealth, 
You got any thoughts on Cave and Cliff? Carrie, I've been talking about it nonstop. My whole life has been consumed by Caves and Cliffs. It's been consumed, like literally. Okay, so this is good because we spawn pretty close by to a village. However, this village doesn't have... Hey, April. It's good to see you, April. Um, I, it's Devante. Devante. Who's Devante? I thought your name's April. Uh, I lost a lot of animals. Did you miss something? I don't think so. We've just been searching for good seeds and stuff. Yeah, we've just been searching for good seeds. And unfortunately, there's no open lava source here, so this is sort of pointless. If we can't get to the nether within, like, in my opinion, you should be in the nether within, like, eight minutes if you're trying to get, like, a good time. So if you do get to the nether and it's a terrible nether, then at least you got you can afford to spend a little bit more time in the nether. So, because usually I think we can all agree that the nether's more difficult than the overworld. So it's good to have realistic expectations and then make it really easy for yourself to... To get in and get out of the nether. Ice glacier caves. Yeah, I've actually... I, I can't say I've been talking about that for a while, but I've been um, showcasing pictures of, like, uh, an ice cave in my videos for the past year or so with, like, huge icicles and then... Um, yeah, just different life in, in different biomes depending on which... Or, different lives in the cave depending on which biome you're in so if we're in a desert biome then like the desert cave if we're in um a jungle biome then a jungle cave a mushroom island of some sort then you get like a mushroom cave like you know i think it'd be cool for the biomes to ref be reflected in the caves so hopefully they are, are hopefully mojang is on the same page I'm hoping Mojang is thinking the same thing, which more than likely they are because they keep asking us for feedback. Like every, literally every developer, every Mojang developer the past three or four days has asked for feedback uh, about this update, which is very uncommon. I think that's a good sign, to be honest. It's a very good sign when like the developers want to know what we want, <laughs> you know? Lady Agnes and Corey and King B Dogs and um, Henrik, you know, all of these developers that work on the game that are working on this update are asking us what type of biomes we want, what type of features we want to see, how should oxidation work for, for copper. Um, it's a beautiful time to be a Minecrafter. It's a great time. I've never been this excited before for Minecraft, and I'm being 100% honest. Even when even when 4J Studios was still making updates, I don't recall ever being this uh, excited for for Minecraft. So I'm very very happy to be a part of this community. I think it's uh it's great, man. It's not too often you're a part of a community that is like always leveling up. You know, Minecraft is always leveling up consistently. Yeah, I'm from America. Like, consistently leveling up. A lot of games never have that momentum, consistent momentum. Some games are just hot, and then they release an update that ruins the game, right? I can name, like, four or five games that have done that. Like, they're super hot for, like, a year, and then they release this update or this patch that destroys the game, and the community's divided, and yada, yada, yada. You guys know it. But not Minecraft. And the last time that happened was uh, 1.9, and that was, how long ago? How long ago was that? Six, seven years ago? 1.9. Eminator, thank you so much for the five dollar bomb, brother. One of the only reasons I wanted the glow squid was because I didn't like the current squid texture. It just doesn't go with the new 1.14. I, I I see what you're saying. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to the textures. Like it actually took me like two months, I think. Over two months. 
And still, to this day, there's certain textures I'm not a huge fan of. I think the, the more obvious one is actually, let me see, I think it's stone. Was it stone? Yeah, I think it's stone. That one took me a while to get used to. Where's the stone block? Here it is. Yeah. I don't know if they changed it. I think... Yeah. I felt like they had too much blue. Like, there's a little bit too much blue in the stone. So it took me a while to get used to it. And then after a while, I just stopped noticing it as much. And uh, the leaves, right? The leaves took me a while to get used to as well. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you for the donation again. Um... What are your thoughts on rare cave sound creatures that have a chance of spawning when a cave sound occurs? Hmm. I like that idea. I think I th just from what we saw during Minecraft Live, I get the sense that Mojang is really trying to push the horror element again. They're really trying to get back into feeling that mystery and fear, like feeling a little scared and frightened. They want people to feel that again because Minecraft is an old game. It's almost 12 years old. And I think we all got used to feeling sort of comfortable in caves and in other areas. And they really want people to be scared. And I like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm on board. Anything that's going to freak you out, I'm on board. I like being scared, to be honest. Like, I, I do. So whatever gets me scared... <laughs> I like it. I like I like I like being scared. I like that adrenaline rush. Yeah, I I'm me too, Carrie. I'm super happy Mojang listens to us. That's why like I don't see myself ever leaving Minecraft unless like something else happens with maybe Hytale that just gets that gets me more interested, but as of right now, like Minecraft is it for me. Like it's it's one of the best games ever. It is 12 years old? I thought it was 12 years old next year. It's 11 years old, yo. Yeah. Trippin'. You trippin'. Trippin'. It's 11 years old. Uh, Stealth, what's your favorite update? Caves and Cliffs update or another update? Uh, well, Caves and Cliffs isn't out yet, so... <laughs> I can't say that's my favorite update, bro. I could say it will be though, for sure, it will be. But as of right now, it's uh, the nether update. And after the nether update, I would say it's probably the exploration update. No. No, yeah, village and pillage would be after nether and then exploration. We're not finding good seeds. Yeah, I'm a fan of Juice World. Yeah, he inspired a ton of people. Uh, Stealth, what's your favorite game? Uh, favorite update caves? Yeah, I already answered that. Um, you tend to rage quit if you die. <laughs> yeah, man. That's part of the game, though, right? That's honestly, it's a core mechanic is dying in Minecraft. They want people to, like, know it's not going to be easy to survive, and I get it, which is why I always have a totem. It's, I always have a totem in my hand, guys. Even if I just feel like I'm farming or something, doing regular stuff, I keep a totem in my offhand all, all the time. All the time. Because it's easy to overlook a danger if you've been playing Minecraft for a long time. It's easy to get comfortable or content whatever like so i try and just have like a a totem of undying and then i can just be as reckless as i want to be i can be super reckless which i am very reckless so it works out um, Stealth, do you think about copper armor that- yeah, I talked about it on my Twitter today. I- I don't see copper being like a very functional type of armor. Because copper isn't the strongest metal. <laughs> but, I think they could do something where, um, and I didn't mention this on Twitter today, so follow me on Twitter, but I did mention like, if we have copper ar armor, maybe it allows us to be sneakier 
or quieter for obvious reasons, right? So maybe if we get the copper armor, we can either A, enchant it with a new enchantment that increases our sneak, that makes it easier for us to sneak without crouching. We on the same page? Or, or it's just like, in, it's like a part of the armor itself that you can just sneak while walking. Kaden, why are you spamming? Can you please stop? <laughs> please stop. So I think there are, there are some things they can definitely do with copper armor. Copper armor. Okay, I warned you. Uh, warned you. Stealth, let me tell you the OPC and how I was talking about the whole time. Yeah, stop spinning. I took care of it. Okay. Um, another seed that looks pretty much identical. Except we got a portal over here. A portal. And this portal is almost complete as well. We got some iron nuggets and some gold, so... Hmm. This isn't bad at all, actually. It's not bad at all. Stealth, what do you think about the telescope? Honestly, I thought that was very random. I'm sure some of you guys saw that too, like, what? And I knew about it before they even presented it. Um, so when they when Mojang told me about it, it's like a week before Minecraft Live, and I was like super confused. I was like, what? A telescope. But the more I was thinking about it, the more I just thought it was a great idea, even for just mini games, you know, for mini games or for mostly mini games, to be honest. Like, yeah. I can't see myself using a telescope in survival a lot, but uh, maybe for mini games, I think it'd be pretty cool for map builders and stuff. That's the one thing that seemed more like a mod. I was like, really? A telescope, huh? But hey. Yeah, I don't know. I can't really think of too many situations where I would need a telescope. Because if I'm going to explore, then I'm just going to go explore. I'm not going to whoop out a telescope to, to zoom in. But um, I think the most confusing feature was probably the lightning rod. All biomes is a mean seed. Most biomes in one chunk when I loaded it. Hmm. I've never been so impatient and hyped. <laughs> You're you're right about that. Trying to wait, having to wait until next summer is going to be uh, torturous. It's going to be very difficult. But um, if anything, guys, what we've learned is that we want Mojang to take their time because they add, they do not only a better job, but they add so much more content if they take their time, right? So I would prefer Mojang just try and make this the best update ever. I already went here. I just want them to take like their time with this. There are so many times I see things that look interesting, but I don't want to go all the way over there. That makes perfect sense to me. I, yeah, the way I traverse the map is sort of wasteful and I waste my time and resources. So that makes perfect sense to me. Usually if I explore, I just go around the entire world and yeah. But if you don't want to waste your time, that actually, that is the telescope's probably your best friend then. Well, welcome credit card. Stealth, how many things do you think will be added to the cave update? Woohoo! <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I, I don't, cause like, they already said, I mean, they're merging two updates, right? They're they're merging the mountain update with the cave update. So they're already combining two updates. And they sort of coincide, right? Mountains and, and caves can sort of coexist together. So um, I feel like they're going to add a lot more to the mountains as a result. 
and then caves caves has almost an infinite potential because you can have what you what, you can have basically what you have right here, except underground, right? You can have different biomes underground, and that opens the door for, you know, bosses and mobs and animals and ores, right? It's... There's so many possibilities, man. It Gamer Brothers, why are you spamming, dog? Styles should the one... Point 1.18 after 1.17 have end right. Yeah, you don't need to spam. I think, I think, okay. Do we need something stronger than netherite, though? Because I, I feel like a lot of people are complaining about Minecraft being super easy, especially for my Isolager gang. I see a lot of veterans saying Minecraft is too easy. Well, I think one of the issues is that not only do we have super OP enchantments we got super op like items so um do we want do we want better more do we want the ores to be more powerful is the is something as a community we got to figure out because in my opinion there has to be uh, they don't necessarily have to add ores they're going to be stronger if anything i would just like to see different weapons like i want to see more weapons I want to be able to craft like maybe a scythe or um, maybe like a broadsword would be pretty cool. That allows for different play styles. Um, but if we're if if we're just wanting weapons that have higher damage output, that doesn't really make sense to me because um, it's just gonna make the game that much more easier. And I, I don't know if that's something, especially like veterans. I don't know if that's something you guys want. I think we just all want. Minecraft to continue to be fun and I think part of that is having a challenge and um the possibility of dying you know that that question like oh man if I fight the warden now am I gonna die like you know like you can't say that about a creeper well you can still say that about a creeper but like a skeleton or a zombie so having entities in the game where you're not sure if you're gonna defeat it is very important and you don't want you don't want weapons that are just like going to make it super easy. That was a long way of answering your question, but I think I answered a lot of other questions. Well, yeah. Um, you want to see more exploration in Minecraft. I think that's why 1.11 was one of my favorite updates, the exploration update. Because the Woodland Mansion... um. Obviously, it's a pretty ugly structure. It actually didn't age well. It did bring a lot of content. And I think the the whole... The cool thing about the Woodland Mansion was, like, there were secret rooms. So when you were in there, you felt like, wow, behind each door, or maybe possibly... Sorry about that. Behind, like, each door, or possibly, like, a wall, would there there could be, like, a secret... So I really did love the Woodland Mansion because it added like a new layer of not only exploration, but like mystery. So I want them to get back to that, like having structures that are almost like puzzles and like, um, like a labyrinth of some sort. Yeah, Woodland Mansions, they didn't really age well. So maybe it's time for them to update that as well as mine shafts. That's something that they got to consider, too. And I did pose that question. Um, I did pose that question uh, when Mojang was asking on Twitter. They're like, uh, ask us questions. I think it was like two or three days ago. And I asked them. I was like, well, you guys are going to update the uh, generation for caves as well as mountains. Are you planning on updating uh, structures like mine shafts and stronghold and dungeons? Like, are you going to update those as well and i i feel like they they probably have to because they they didn't really age well uh yeah shadow part we're gonna continue with random seeds bro for now yeah they they 
for sure mine shafts, right? Because mine shafts are a pretty big part of like the underground life. They have to consider updating mine shafts because mine shafts don't. They just feel old, you know. Sort of how like villages used to feel old until they updated it in uh, Village and Pillage update. So I think they should definitely consider updating uh, the mine shafts. Hello, Quest. Yeah, Oreo's pretty good on Java. That's actually good to know. It's it's still one of my favorite seeds. Okay, this seed is garbage. I can already tell you. Like, this isn't a speedrun seed. It's not. It's not. Did you watch Indiana Jones? Yeah, growing up for sure. I used to go to like Disney World a lot too. And there's this, um, there's like this, I don't want to say it's a play. I don't even know what they call it. Like it's a show called Indiana Jones and I thought that was like one of the coolest things growing up seeing like Indiana Jones like in action. It really wasn't, it wasn't uh, Harrison Ford. It was just this person, but I still at, at the time was like, bro, this is Indiana Jones at Disney World. Um, Firelight, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, I was like, is that the old Firelight? But I get I guess you answered my question, so hello. Do you think there will be crystal armor? Nah, Commander, that sounds like a horrible idea, bro. Do you know how brittle crystal do you know man, talk about fragile and weak. It'd be like you get one hit and it's broken. Crystal armor. Mm-mm. I would like to be able to make like maybe crystal glass, like maybe a crystal, um, I don't know. They could definitely do some decorations with crystals. I'm just trying to think of decorations. More ways to customize the inside of your house is pretty important. And they're definitely lacking in that department. So I feel like if we were to have more ways to customize uh, the interior of the house would be pretty cool. So, fingers crossed. There's a lot that they can do with, just for builders alone. I see that they're trying to take care of redstone people, so I'm happy for my redstone people. Uh, but I, I want the same love for builders. Which, we did get a glimpse of candles, so I'm happy about candles as well. But they really gotta consider more. Glass armor. <laughs> for my hardcore people. My hardcore... <laughs> Minecrafters. <laughs> Glass armor. Oh my gosh. You'd walk once and you have to repair it. Glass armor. What up, Sky Plays? Stealth. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that they are having a really big update right after the Nether update. It might, it might feel like it, but, you know, there's still, like, Mojang's still a studio that takes about a year to make a large update. Um, I think a lot of us are still, like, running off the adrenaline and the excitement of Minecraft Live, but you gotta, you gotta remind yourself, like, it's still, you know, they usually spend eight to nine months develop, developing this update, and then three or four months after that, you got Minecraft again, or Minecraft Live again, so... They, um, they do spend a lot of time working on these updates. A lot of time. Do you know what the uh, coconut mall meme? Do you know? I don't know what that is. I feel like a loser now. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm actually a little scared now. Sometimes if I don't catch a reference and I like, yeah. Stealth, do you think Indiana Jones in Minecraft? No. Mm -mm. They, they shouldn't. That's like saying, do you want SpongeBob in Minecraft? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? I don't think it's, 
necessarily that it's just like combining two different brands and two different worlds doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be good content sort of what fortnite's doing right now it's like okay they can add all the like marvel superheroes they want but it's just gonna become a marvel game over time instead of a fortnite game Uh, if you like scares, play Five Nights at Freddy's. I know, didn't they tease that during, um... Was it Sony's reveal for the PlayStation 5? Didn't they announce a new Five Nights at Freddy's game? Or am I just imagining things? Didn't they tease it? There's a new Five Nights at, Five Nights at Freddy's game coming out. Eminatorit, thank you again, bro. You've been donating all day. Goodness gracious, homie. Thank you. It'd be awesome if you could create some sort of magic staff with netherite and geodes because they don't have much magic. I know, bro. Tell me about it. I've been talking about magic for quite some time. I think one thing, though, if they don't go the magic route, um, I would like to see um, more of an emphasis on totems. I think there's a lot of potential for totems in Minecraft. Like, th there's a lot they could do with totems. There's so much that they could do with totems that I feel like um, they just haven't really dived into. So I agree on the magic, uh, but if we don't get magic, I think totems could serve that. Or, or right, um, what's what do they call it? Artifacts, right? Artifacts is what they call it in Minecraft Dungeons. So there's a lot of artifacts in Minecraft Dungeons that I would love to see in Minecraft. Oh my gosh. If you've never played Minecraft Dungeons, man, you are missing out because there's so many cool weapons and items in that game that could easily uh, like move over to Minecraft and work perfectly. Yo, this is getting annoying. Ugh. I hate that. Uh, do you think we need more flying mobs like like birds? Of course. I mean, we have parrots and bats and uh, phantoms, which we don't really like talking about phantoms here. So, I would love to see like a uh, fa uh, falcons and fox and vultures are still coming. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot all about vultures, bro. Oh man, vultures! Holy cow! Vultures are eventually coming. But who knows how long that will take. That could take like... They might add vultures in like two or three years from now. We just don't know. We just don't know how long that will take. Stone armor and wooden armor. Okay. Okay, buddy. Phantoms should steal your diamonds, not kill. You said they should steal your diamonds? Why? That's so bad. Like, I would never want that, man. I would never. That's like, no. Vultures still exist? I mean, they're announced. They've been announced for, yeah, over a year now, so. Yeah, vultures are still coming, as well as the ostrich. I really wanted the ostrich. Oh, I'm still upset about that. I'm still very upset. Yo, my Isolager gang, you guys think you're upset. I'm still upset over ostriches. Like, <laughs> people, you, you guys chose a fox over a possibly not only tameable, but mountable mob. We could have been riding ostriches right now. But y'all wanted a mob that runs away from you every single every single time it's nearby. You guys wanted a fox that runs away from you. We could have had an ostrich. An ostrich. Oh, I'm never going to let that one go. <sighs> Phantoms should not steal diamonds. No, they shouldn't. Uh, I think they need to make mobs stronger in general, add challenge, and... 
yeah, I think a challenge is good, but you know, you got to consider casual players too. So it's important to have a good balance. I think. I think when it comes to content, that's the easy part, but balancing is very technical. I think that's one of the reasons why we haven't had a combat update yet, is because like. Jens is really trying to take his time with this. He's really trying to find a good balance for combat. And who knows how long that'll take. It could take another year. So, I, I yeah. Balance is like one of the most important things in a game. That really doesn't get enough support, I think, but... This seat is garbage. Why won't why don't you use no seed? Is that the name of it? No seed. Glow squid was the best choice. Ooh, fighting words. Fighting words. Oh no. I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> I'm surprised the Moo Bloom didn't get as much love. I think the people I think people saw Moo Bloom with like, oh yo, it's a mushroom cow, but it actually was Quite a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. The Mooblum's actually significantly different than the Mushroom Cow, and I'm, I'm surprised a lot of people didn't, like, really acknowledge that, you know? Like, the Mooblum is very different. At least compared to, like, the Glow Squid and the regular Squid. At least the Mooblum interacted with bees, and they were probably going to give us something new as a result of uh of being pollinated oh thank you thank you for the blessing welcome back do you hate when your siblings don't close the door <laughs> i hate when my, i hate when my like my brother would talk over me like or interrupt me because he's the older brother like like man if you don't let me talk you don't let me talk, bro. But, nah. Siblings, right? Gotta love them. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you. I feel blessed. I feel blessed. Thank you. I feel blessed. Uh... Stealth, I made a concept on new ore with a completely new mechanic known as... Tafite on feedback? I can barely pronounce that. I can barely pronounce that one. Oh god, if Warden steals your stuff from my- Yo, I don't think the Warden cares about your stuff, to be honest. Like, the Warden- Like, if you die down there with the Warden, how are you gonna get your stuff back is what you should be worrying about. I don't know. Like, in my mind, and I told King B Dogs this too on Twitter, because he's the homie. I told King B Dogs this, I was like, bro, you should make it where, like- <laughs> you guys are gonna hate me for this. <laughs> I told King B Dogs, like, yo, the warden should regenerate, and he liked it too. He liked that idea. So we'll see what happens. But if the if <laughs> if the warden regenerates, many people will be dying. There will be blood. There will be casualties because you're talking about one of the strongest mobs being able to regenerate. And it's super fast, unlike the Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon's pretty slow, but... Yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry. We're all taking L's. Once the Warden comes... I need to make a Warden emote, by the way. That'll probably be my next emote. The Warden. But uh, once the, the Warden drops... There will be... <laughs> there will be death. <laughs> Uh, I haven't heard anything new, no, David, about the PS4 servers. I haven't heard any, uh, heard anything new. Uh, dedicated to checking out creepy seeds from live chat. Yeah, maybe uh, as we get closer to Halloween. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I will be doing a Halloween stream in costume. So it'll be pretty fun. I think you guys should definitely come through. In costume. Who will I be? <laughs> You'll have to find out. 
Stealth has made the end of us. <laughs> it's out of love, guys. It's out of love, okay? I was listening to the community, and you guys said you wanted a challenge. Well, now the challenge can regenerate. So, it's endless love. The Warden. Endless love from the Warden. Okay? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. We're in for a good time. Once the warden drops. I don't I don't even know if I'm going to fight it. It just depends. If it drops something, I'll fight it. If not, then I'm just going to keep it alive, right? Why why defeat it? It's like a little guardian of the under of the underworld, you know? If it doesn't drop anything, I'm not going to kill it. Or what's the point? It's like killing a fox. Like, what's the point of killing a fox? Uh, Stealth, are you going to be a creeper? You have to wait until Halloween. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> what's going on, Ringo? How you doing? What up with you? Yo, all the seats today have been actually terrible. They're, they're actually terrible. Except Oreo. Oreo was good. Oreo was splendid. Stealth mob idea. The forgotten. A flying shadow mob. I'm starting to realize a lot of you guys have great ideas. You just never post them on feedback. Like, what's the deal? What's the deal, guys? Like, you know the story of the... Of the piglin brute, like that's from one of you. One of the homies in the stealth army made the piglin brute and posted it on feedback. So, like, it does happen. It legit happens if you guys just take the time and share these ideas on feedback. Like, you know, you could be the next piglin brute story. For sure. You could be the next piglin brute story. And then you're forever immortalized. Like, think of it this way. You're forever immortalized in Minecraft simply because you shared your idea on feedback. That's... That has to be like the craziest flex ever. That has to be like... God tier flex. Like saying, hey, I made that. <laughs> like, I made that. It's right there for you. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, man. I would have that on my resume. I would have that in my bio. Like everything. You know? Axolotls are super cute. Super cute. I wonder if they're going to add new enchantments as well. I wonder, y'all. Will they add new enchantments to my uh to the 1.17 update? Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. This is another horrible seed. <clears throat> I wonder. And now that the glow squid is the winner, I wonder if they're gonna add a glow die as well. They better. They better do something with the glow squid or it's going to upset a lot of people. Like, they have to. You can't just add the glow squid and it just glows. Like, you have to do something with it. That would just be a waste of potential. If they don't do something interesting with the glow squid, people will riot. Like, people will literally riot. What up, slime? And shout out to everybody uh, who's been subscribing and donating. I want to say thank you. Like, I, I really do appreciate it, guys. Y'all are some real ones. Thank you. Uh, follow the Discord, too, if you want to continue this chat over on Discord. Uh, I'll post a link to my Discord so you guys can stop. Bye. I don't know if anime is on. She was talking about doing a movie night, but to be honest, I don't know. I don't know.
Okay. Anyway, stealth, the glow squid can't even glow, bro. I see, okay, I see a lot of creators saying that. But let's be real, like, we don't know what Mojang's gonna do. I see a lot of creators that are upset. I saw, I saw the people on Twitter. I know who they are, man. I know who they are. I know these people that, that are saying that the glow squid don't, don't glow. But that's Minecraft Earth. This isn't Minecraft Earth. They could do something completely different. Man, people were super upset. That day, that day, man. Ooh, you should have seen Twitter. People were angry. Uh, angry, angry. People are still angry, but a lot of that anger was directed at Dream. Um, So I was like, okay, well, you know. You know, what can you do? Do you have clay? If so, make a cute little red Among Us mini. Among Us mini with clay. Like, like pixel art or something? Stealth, try all biomes in your own time, brother. Let me know what you think. All biomes. Is it just all like this? All biomes. Uh, guys, I think 1.18 will be tadpoles and totems. Frogs and more kinds of totems. I don't know. I think 1.18 will be the end update, but I'm not really trying to go that far ahead because, like, there's still so much going on with the caves and cliffs. Like, I'm not really trying to focus on the update after that, like... No, not right now. Not right now. No, no. Uh, cause, okay, so... The whole situation with Dream, right? If you guys were watching Minecraft Live, they, uh... They did... Well, obviously everything was live, including the mob vote. So, at the time, it was between the Glow Squid and the Isologer, right? So you had a couple minutes to vote for either the Isologer or the Glow Squid. And then Dream tweeted out something about vote Ice or vote Glow Squid on his Twitter account. And it got like 50,000 like 50,000 retweets and likes and stuff about the Glow Squid. So a lot of people ended up supporting the Glow Squid because of his influence. So, yeah, that's the story in a nutshell. That's the story in a nutshell. Uh, either way, they didn't say they're not going to add the Isologer or the Moo Bloom. So that has to be slightly comforting. That has to be slightly comforting, right, compared to 2017 where they said they're never coming, at least... They didn't say that. They said that they could come still. Yeah. Like, they did say that there's a possibility that they could come. Uh, maybe Glow Squid will drop something to craft underwater torches. That'd be pretty exciting. I would be very happy with glow dye. I have a question, Stealth. What is your favorite mob in Minecraft? Uh, Mushroom Cow. Mushroom Cow. I feel like the Mushroom Cow is like a great pet and just very beneficial to have in your farm. We got an open lava pit right there. We got a village over here, but it's sort of out of range. Um... Ruin portal down there. Yeah, we just haven't been getting lucky with seats today. Man, I think this is why practicing on random seeds is so beneficial because it's super rare that you're going to find like a seed where you have an open lava pit spawn right next to a village. Like that's just not very realistic.
Uh, I would also like to see them maybe adding amulets and other and and or charms. Yeah, I, I said I, we actually talked about that like not not even fifteen minutes ago. It was artifacts. So um, amulets and all that stuff is actually in Minecraft already. It's in Minecraft dungeons, and uh, they they just have everything categorized as uh, artifacts. I'm pretty sure amulets are in Mine uh, Minecraft dungeons. Let me double check. It's a really fun game. I just don't remember ev artifacts. I don't remember everything, every single specific artifact. Uh, yeah, medallion. Love medallion. They got iron hide amulet. Uh, wow. Corrupted beacon. Soul lantern. Soul healer. Totem of shielding. That sounds pretty, like, pretty legit. Totem of Shielding, Totem of Regeneration. Boots of Swiftness, like... They, there's a lot of artifacts. Uh, light Feather, Lightning Rod. Oh, that's a pretty sick one. I actually forgot about that. Yeah, Minecraft Dungeons is it. Um... Roadshow with Dream. Yeah, no, this village is, or not village, this seat is horrible. I should have left a while ago. Do you think Mojang should add flamingos in Minecraft? Um, sure, why not? Like, I don't have anything against more animals in Minecraft, right? How is that a bad thing? More animals, sure. Why not? We like animals here. More animals. I'm definitely for it. I'm all for it. We'll do a couple more, and then probably the last one or two, I'll just let you guys recommend. And then after that, yeah. Yeah. All right, see you later, Legend Never Die. Take care, Halid. Mythic Funk, take care. All right, see you later, Shadow Part, or whoever's leaving. Take care, man. Have a good one. Um... I mean, the beacon isn't even that good. It's helpful, but not that good. Yeah. Well, I, I think just the... You know, I think just adding more items. I don't necessarily feel like we need more weapons. I would like more weapons, but... I think having more items, more ways to approach a battle would be very enjoyable and fun, right? Um, which I think, uh, I think totems do that. And I think artifacts would do that. It just means like there's uh, more ways to approach a fight or a battle or a situation. So this is pretty good. We spawn right next to a village. However, it is a zombie village. And mm, yeah, this is actually pretty good. We spawn right next to the village. However, do we have any lava? Can you build Isolager a statue or a room to honor him? Uh, well, like I said, he's not gone forever yet. Like, he could still come, or it could still come. It's not 100% it's not gone. Like, Isolager pixel art or something? Is that what you mean? Hey, Stealth, love your vids. You do the best chill streams. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I really do. I like chill streams. I do, I do, I do. Ooh. We got a mine shaft? Nope. Uh, nope. Bunch of emeralds, though. You tweeted at me. Gotcha. You get a thumbs up for tweeting at me. Follow me on Twitter, guys. And Discord. If you would like to. If you would like. Um, I would like daggers and don't know what else. I want tameable dragons. That's going to be the one thing I'll always ask for every single year <laughs> until I get them. I want my tameable dragons 
it's the one thing I've been asking for. Uh, um, that's a lo uh, well, actually, about the same time as the cave update. So about three years, I've been asking for tameable dragons for about three years now. And at least we got cave the cave update, but in terms of the dragons, I'm still waiting. Welcome back, Michael. I hope the bat isn't uh, a useless mob anymore after the update. I was thinking about that one too, bro. I was like, I wonder if they're going to add more bats or what are they going to do with bats? Like, I don't know. Such an intriguing question because, you know, we could, we could, I can't talk right now. We could actually like even make a video or a, an entire conversation focusing on mobs that are currently in the caves. Like you got cave spiders, you got the bats. Um, I don't know if silverfish are really considered a cave mob, but... Like, are they planning on improving them? Are they going to change them? Are they going to add more cave mobs? So, as of right now, I don't know. Make them walk on a roof and walls. Yeah, this seed is not good either. All right, we'll check out probably two seeds that you guys want me to check out. So, they don't have to be random. Um... Oh, we got water. It's like, I'm thirsty, man. <sighs> as long as you didn't vote <laughs> Glow Squid because Dream told you to. Do you think there should be different types of totems? Yeah, I mean, we've only been talking about it for like an hour. I think that's a really cool way to make uh, combat enjoyable and fun and feel fresh. Without there having to be like this skill gap, you know, like... I think totems would make just combat and battles really fun and interesting. Uh, how long have silverfish even been in the game? I'm not sure. It's a good question. I imagine for several years, like maybe seven or eight years at least. Um, I wonder what seed Vegeta looks like on Bedrock. Vegeta? I don't know. I can check real quick. I'm pretty sure Bulma is really good though. That's like a classic one. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll check that one. Seed, share the love. Share the love. Uh, this is the greatest plan. Uh, I mean, like, they're not bats, don't do nothing. Yeah, the bats don't really serve a purpose because they don't really drop anything. And I think they give you, like, literally, like, an XP. So, I'm not sure. I would like to see fruit bats. Fruit bats would be, fruit bats would be really cool. Uh, smiley face. That's cool. We got a smiley face right here. But this isn't like... I can already tell you this is probably not a good seed. Just, just based off of like what we're seeing right here. Just based off of this. This is like not a good seed. since 1.8 so that's a very long time you don't know how to use it i'm not <laughs> i'm not the one to ask if anime was here like she's the one to ask um but if you have a discord as long as you click the link you should be getting an invite that just allows you to join my discord um, but you can follow a bunch of other people's discords um, as well. They're just basically... I think of them as like group chats, you know? It's like a, a group chat. Yeah. 
Use the seed. Holy cow, all those numbers, bro. All those numbers. I actually saw a very interesting tweet, and this one was sent to... Uh, which developer? It was either sent to Henrik or King B Dogs, and they liked the tweet. And it was of, like, an oasis cave. So think of a, like, a cave... Think of a tropical cave, right? So, um... Maybe I can find the picture. One second. One second, guys. I can probably find the picture. Yeah, I found it. Wow, that didn't take long. Um, that didn't take long at all. All right. Uh, desktop. Um, here we go. Can you guys see it? Yeah, I think you guys can see it. So, like, an oasis cave. And, um, you got, like, tropical fish. You got, like, these palm trees. And it'd be, like, a safe place to build and live in. I think this is possibly one of the coolest cave ideas I've seen so far. So, yep, that's the tweet. That's what I was talking about. Definitely um, something that we could possibly see because, yeah, Mojang has been asking us, like I said, relentlessly the past few days, what type of cave biomes do we want to see? What type of features do we want to see? And uh, I think that would just be a really cool biome. Hello, welcome, welcome. Ooh, welcome. It does look really cool. It's just an idea. But a lot of these things are just ideas right now. I mean, we're, we're talking about the earliest stages of development. So it's... It's comforting knowing that we could possibly see a lot of these things. Right? If we were toward the very end of development, toward like, a, you know, the release, I'd be like, okay, maybe a lot of these things won't happen, you know? But the, the fact that they are still sort of trying to figure out a lot of things in terms of biomes and mobs and world generation like we could still see a lot of these things that were that were like imagining Akko yo I might go to Taco Bell after this low key I think I might it's pretty far away though I gotta go like 10 minutes and I'm sort of like lazy yeah I gotta figure it out do I want to go to Taco Bell uh, I hope extremely large caves will be rare. Really? Why is that? Hmm. Why is that? Why do you feel that way? Were coconuts to be uh, confirmed? In a biome update? Uh, they were, and then they took it off feedback for whatever reason. Yeah, it was actually confirmed. It was announced, and then they thought they were slick, but they forgot that I document everything. <laughs> so I had a screenshot of coconut trees. But, um, let me double check, though. Make sure, yep, they took it off announced. Baobabs. Uh-huh. Palm trees. Palm trees. Yeah, they thought they were slick. Uh-huh, look at this. Look at this, guys. Look, check this out. They thought they were slick. They announced this. This is one of the few things on feedback that was uh, reversed for whatever reason. Um has 16,000 votes. So this was announced for whatever reason, and I don't know why or when they got 
unannounced. So I don't know what their plans are for coconut trees, to answer your question. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Like, I don't know. They... Skyden, thank you so much for the dollar bomb. But I'll probably start dropping more feedback videos. I know you guys like to see them, and I, I sort of miss making them. It's just like Mojang never really announces or puts anything under review anymore, but uh, I'll, I'll see what I can make for you guys in the next week or so in terms of feedback. So, yeah. Yeah, feedback. Are you excited for copper? Yeah, I am actually pretty hyped. I'm actually curious, though, what else we could see in terms of items. We got, like, you know, we're going to be able to make the lightning rod and the telescope, but I'm wondering what else they're going to allow us to make with copper. With the good old copper. Didn't you have 250k subs? No, I wish, bro. I wish, homie. <laughs> You must be referring to some other content creator. No, we, we hit like 150k like two months ago, I think. Um, uh, yup. Yup. My favorite wood is dark oak wood. Dark oak wood, guys. How far can you jump in Minecraft? I think it's five blocks, right? Five blocks? Can someone correct me on that or confirm? I'm pretty sure it's either four and a half or five blocks, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's around there. This is the best year for Minecraft. I agree, Ashley. I agree. Um. So I'll be reading chat for a, a few minutes and then that's it, guys. So... Uh, I should have a video up tomorrow, so make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Click it, um, and we can continue this conversation on Discord if you guys want to continue ch uh, talking and chatting. I have a Discord right here. Feel free to follow it. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Um, it's four blocks. Can you work on a project? I got so many projects, I just, like didn't i haven't finished yet so i got my sky island that i haven't finished i have my nether village i haven't finished i have a brand new cave i just started um so yeah i'm definitely behind on a lot of projects yeah i think it's five uh... Woodland Mansion months ago. That was my first stream I watched. Was that the one where I was uh, doing one heart? Was that the one heart challenge? I think I remember that. It was either one heart challenge or it was uh, UHC. UHC, I think. Hey, it is five blocks. Was I right, yo? Was I actually right? Let me see. Can you jump? five blocks in length yeah i was right yeah wow uh wow anyways guys um yeah that's it for today i want to say thank you to everybody who donated everybody who subscribed and became a member and liked and just supported me guys thank you so much i hope you had a good sh a good time in the stream it's pretty chill uh discord all that stuff instagram twitter is in the description uh yeah definitely check it out and i'll have more content for you guys tomorrow so have a great night friends take care stay safe i'm out i'm out of here i'm gonna go get some tacos that's it bye